Righteous, practical, silent, and ready to follow God's will. That describes St. Joseph, Mary's husband. The man chosen by God as Jesus' foster father on earth. The Gospels don't talk much about him and don't report any of his words. St. Joseph was quiet but active. He fulfilled the mission entrusted to him. He protected Jesus and Mary and helped Jesus to grow in age, wisdom, and grace. Joseph was a man quick to action. There's no man more trustworthy than Joseph. The saints knew it well. St. Teresa of Avila said, I don't remember ever having asked him for a grace without having received it immediately. He probably wasn't as old as he is often shown. He was a great worker and taught Jesus his profession. He was a righteous man, that's how the Gospels define him, and an observant Jew, respectful of the law. He was a practical man, organizing the trip to Bethlehem for the census, with Mary nearly in labor, and the escape into Egypt. He was able to provide everything necessary for Jesus and Mary. His silence was the fruit of consciously accepting the task God had entrusted to him. Joseph wasn't as much a man of sacrifice as a man of love. He didn't only do his duty, but he loved what the Lord asked of him in the concrete acts of daily life. His dreams were dreams of God, who spoke to him through them. Devotion to St. Joseph was already present in the early church. Although his feast was only established in the 15th century, the Feast of St. Joseph, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, is celebrated March 19th. According to tradition, this is the day of his death, shortly before Jesus began his public life. He is thought to have died in the arms of Jesus and Mary, and for this reason the Church venerates him as the patron saint of a happy death. Pope Pius IX proclaimed St. Joseph the patron of the Universal Church in 1870. And recently, his name was added to the Canon of the Mass. The Church dedicates the month of March and Wednesdays in a special way to St. Joseph. <laughs>